Welcome to the new consumer complaint filing tutorial. If you are looking forward to file a complaint online, you must have a registered user ID on the eDakhil portal www.edakhil.nic.in. To become a registered user, go to eDakhil portal's homepage, click on registration submenu under complainant advocate menu. First, register user ID to get OTP, then get the activation link through OTP and finally activate the link in the email received on your email account. Want to file a new complaint online? Then log in with the activated user ID and start filing your complaint. To log in to your account, click on login under complainant advocate menu. On the login screen, enter email ID, password and the capture code and click on the login button. After successful login, you will land on your account's homepage with a welcome message. From here, filing manualist can be accessed to file a new complaint or rejoinder. You can also check case status, view pending draft, pending payment or approved cases list. Profile manualist options allow you to update account details. If you want to exit from the account, click on logout button. Before beginning with consumer complaint filing process, let's First, see the documents list that can be required at the time of filing consumer complaint. Please ensure that the copies should be paginated and duly indexed in the following order. These are index, list of dates, memo of parties, complaint with a notarized attested affidavit and fee payable through offline mode. Please save a separate copy of each document as these will be required at the time of documents upload. Any additional document can also be uploaded like any supporting document or application for condonation of delay. Please have the scanned copies of all the necessary documents before filing a consumer case. Let's see the details you are required to fill out in different sections at the time of e-filing. These are case details like complainant, respondent and advocate details, information about additional parties associated with the case, documents upload and finally finalize and submit the application after which the case cannot be edited. Payment is required if applicable in your case. You can choose offline or online payment mode. Let's begin with consumer complaint filing process. Click on file a new case under filing menu. Read the disclaimer and click on the accept button. Click on consumer complaint CC button. Enter the claim amount in figures. In place of cause of action, select the state and district from the drop down list and click on continue button. This will land you on case details page. To check the details entered by you, switch over to the adjacent pre details tab. It will Display auto-generated case reference number, claim amount, case type, the level of commission where complaint is filed in and place of cause of action. After checking the details, click on case details tab to fill in the details in complainant section. The case details page has three sections, complainant, opposite party, complainant advocate details. Fill in each section. First start with filling in complainant details. Type in the complete complainant name, type in the 10 digits correct mobile number to get alerts and notifications. Email ID is optional but if you provide, you will get notifications on email ID as well. The checkboxes may be marked tick if applicable. Phone number field is optional. Type in the complete address, click on the drop down list to select the state. All the asterisk marked fields are mandatory to be filled in. Similarly, select the district from the district drop down list and type in the pin code. Now. Fill in the opposite party details. Type in the complete opposite party name. Type in 10 digits mobile number though it is optional here. Type in the complete address. Select the state and district from respective drop down list and enter the pin code. Scroll down the page and mark the checkbox tick if you know the advocate details. Type in the complete advocate name. Type in mobile number in the text field. Enter the complete address. Click on drop down list and select the state. This will load the relevant data in the district drop down list. From here, select the appropriate one and enter the correct location pin code. Now, type in the case summary briefing about your case. We check the details and click on save draft button to save the details. Click OK, then switch over to the additional complainant tab. In the additional complainant section, mark add new additional complainant checkbox tick. Type in additional complainant name. 
email id mobile and phone number fields are optional enter complete address select the state from the drop down list click on district drop down list to choose the district type in the pin code if you know additional complainant advocate mark the checkbox tick type in advocate name enter complete address select state and district from the respective drop down list and type in the correct location pin code click on the add button to save the record in tabular format if you want to edit the details then you can click on edit button from here details will be shown in the fields above make the desired changes after editing recheck the details and click on update button to save the record with the latest changes since we edited address info the updated record is displayed here further to add more of additional complainants mark the checkbox tick this will enable the fields to fill in details then click on add button to save if the details in required fields remain unfilled and add button is clicked it will show alert with controls highlighted in red color if no more details are required to be added untick the checkbox then click on save draft button to save the details click okay and click on additional opposite party tab mark the checkbox tick fill in additional opposite party and advocate details type in complete additional opposite party name in the text field enter a valid email id if known to you type in 10 digits mobile number phone mobile and email id fields are optional here enter the address and select the state choose the appropriate district from district drop down list all the asterisk marked fields are mandatory to be filled in and type in the pin code tick the check box if you have the advocate details else uncheck it and click on add button and then click on save draft button click okay and switch over to the document upload tab in the document upload section click on choose button select the file then click on upload button similarly upload other documents four documents are mandatory to be uploaded in pdf format to upload any additional document click on add document button double click the blank space to type in the document name here then click on choose button to upload the file to delete any additional entry remove button can be clicked read the information given in the information panel click on save draft and click on next tab button This is the case finalized stage click on preview button the downloaded file can be seen merged as a single file holding all the uploaded documents in sequential order the right panel displays the options to choose from click on the radio button to select the commission where you want to submit the case mark tick on the check boxes to confirm that all the details have been provided once all the points have been cross checked click on finalize button to get otp on the mobile number The next screen is the OTP screen. This is the last step to finalize your case. Now type in the OTP in text field and click on continue button. You will get an acknowledgement message that case is now finalized and now cannot be edited. You can proceed for payment. Once payment is made, this case will be forwarded to concerned commission. Click on OK button and you will be redirected to pending payment cases page. from here you can check the case and click on proceed to pay button payment can be made through online or offline mode this was all about consumer case filing process thank you for watching this video